these things are uh, people you know people want these things it's not a marketing gimmick it's not someone coming up with an idea just to make money the hunger is there and we know the hunger is there and we want to give them something that they can really enjoy and play and experience and one of the things that you might have noticed is throughout the day is we've had different generations come we've had people come with their kids like 13 7 and then the parents are playing we've had like about 50 year olds playing and they all get that same little enjoyment that little smile on the face it's exactly what we want it's really humbling to see we love it when people from all over the world all different backgrounds and ages come and play the game and they have the shared experience because that's the kind of stuff that makes it more than a game you know i can have memories of playing this with my parents or my, my son or my daughter it doesn't matter it, it kind of really emboldens it and you'll remember it and that's that's what i think 3d platformers are all about is remembering stuff a few years after you played it you know so I still remember the first time I played Proc with my dad, you know? It's oh, dad. Them little sound effects in your head, and you can hear that, you know? And that's Ooh. what we're looking for. Yep, I, I remember that. You had Croc and what were they called? The Gobos? The Gobos, yeah. Gobos, yeah. Legend of the Gobos. Legend of the Gobos, yeah, <laughs> that was something else. Croc is, that is really old school, yeah. too. I was like, I remember playing a lot of the Croc games. I was the British like, game as well, from uh, Argonaut. Uh, last oh, yeah. nice. But yeah, that's... That's really something when you're able to capture that same feeling of magic yeah. with everything. That's what 3D platform is all about. It's that little sense of whimsical magic, you know. We have so many different genres out there. Video games have went in a, a much more cinematic experience where there's mature stories to do through topics. You know, there's games that are 500 hours long or you can spend 200 hours grinding stuff. Yeah. 3D platformers fill a nice little gap of just being the reason why you play video games in the first place. Fun. A little bit of fun you can enjoy and you can share. And that's what I'm trying to info with, uh, with Kale the Kangaroo. And it's definitely showing. So I see here, do we have a date for, for the game and what platforms will it be coming we out do. on? 27th of May, we're going to be on PC via Steam, Switch, Xbox and PlayStation. Digital is going to be $30, physical will be $35. Okay. Our physical console versions will be handled by Limited Run, that's who we're with today. Their pre-orders, I believe, will be on 24th of on May, so a few days out from release. Okay. So, we, so for anyone who wants to get a physical, you do have the option to do for $35, it seems here, mm -hmm. as, as well with, with limited run games, so check them out. And then, of course, you'll be able to get it digitally for $30. Uh, and you said that the pre-orders are going to go up on the 24th? 24th limited run. Okay. And there you go, guys. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for taking the time hey, to speak no with us. no problem. Well, oh, there you go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you all next time. Later.